Hi, I'm Wes. I'm a member at Fresno First Baptist Church. I'd like to take a moment to talk about seeds. Now this, this is a watermelon seed. You've probably seen one of these before when you had a slice of watermelon. I'm talking about the big sweet watermelons full of juicy watermelony goodness and of course itty bitty seeds, not the seedless kind. To me those are pretty sterile. Now looking at this thing, you wouldn't think there's a whole lot going on. It looks like a dried up little rock. But inside here, there's a germ of information that under the right conditions can do amazing things. It was four weeks ago today, I put these in the ground and eventually they're gonna take over this whole, whole plot of land. Now, you don't have to have a degree in biology or agriculture or plant science to plant a seed. You just need to dig a hole and put it in the ground. And the information in here can do amazing things. God programmed it that way. Now it's like that with our spiritual lives too. Jesus told a lot of stories about planting and harvesting and the power of the gospel and how he wants us to be involved in planting little gospel seeds in people's lives. Living things grow and reproduce. To me, seedless Christianity, like a watermelon, is pretty sterile. But you might say, Les, you know, I'm, I'm not good at that. I'm not good at sharing my faith. I don't know what to say. And if you're like me, then get busy with life and you forget to look at those opportunities to share a kind word with other people to try to look for those opportunities those ordained opportunities to plant a little gospel seed in somebody's life well what does that look like it looks like a helping hand a kind word speaking a blessing in jesus name i don't want to plant less seeds i want to plant Jesus seeds and you don't have to have a graduate degree from a seminary or a degree in theology to plant those gospel seeds you just need to put them in the ground that may look like when somebody's sharing their life with you and they have a problem sharing with them that God can take care of it whatever it is and offer to pray with them the power of prayer is amazing. Take that itty bitty gospel seed and plant it in somebody's life. Now I'm going to pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the opportunity you give us to share in your work of spreading the gospel. Help us look for those opportunities to share your message, the power of the gospel, and put it into other people's lives. And we pray that you would water the seeds we plant, and we look to you for the increase. In Jesus' name. Now, don't go away. I'd like for you in the comment section down below, if you've had an opportunity in a small way or a big way to plant a little gospel seed in somebody's life, just put it in the comment sections. It'll encourage me. It'll encourage other people who need an idea. How do I do this thing? How do I get started with this thing? And together, we can look to Jesus to increase the harvest. Have a blessed day.